Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Carla. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Fine. A lot of work. A lot of work. Yes. Okay. How many patients did you see today? 16. Only 16. 16? Yes. Or 60? No, 16. A few, a few patients. That's good. <clears throat> Perdón? Yes, That's yes, it's, it's good. It's good. 16 patients is good because, yes. well, we don't want people to get sick. <laughs> Especially yes. in these times. Yes, I know. <laughs> what about you, Karen? How has been your day? Yeah, work the weekend. Working? Yes. Very busy. Yes. Uh, uh, many parents. Many parents? Yeah. Many patients. Many patients. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about you, Freeland? How are you today? Great, teacher. Great. Great. I am, resting in my, I am resting in my house. Ah, that's great. So today, tomorrow you go to work. Today I I don't go in. You didn't work today. I'm going to go to work. Today I am resting. Okay, so you didn't work today. You stayed at home. Yes, teacher, I stay at home. Okay, and tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, in all weekend, I don't work. So you're not going to work the whole and week? This weekend, in this weekend, I don't work. I go oh, in, you... I, in my house resting for all okay. weekend, for all, for all, all day, seven days. Seven days, no work. No work. Okay, all the week. <laughs> so you're not all going? Week to work, you are not going to work all the week. All the week, teacher. Wow. <laughs> so you have to think in something <laughs> to spend the time. Okay, um, so to finish the section number four, we have uh, our reading. And then we are going to check how good is your memory. If you remember details about the reading. Okay, well, we have been studying the simple past and this reading is uh, just a review about the simple past. What I want you to do is to follow the reading um, I think it has audio. Yes, it has audio. So I'm going to play the audio. You can read and then we're going to check if you remember some details about the reading. Did you have a good weekend? Karen. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Mariella's wedding. She got married in her parents' garden. She wore a fantastic dress. Her parents served a nice meal after the ceremony. I'm really happy for her. And her new husband is really nice. Pete, I didn't go outside all weekend. I had so much work to do. On Saturday, I studied all day. On Sunday, I did the dishes, cleaned my apartment, and did laundry. Sunday night, I watched a DVD for my history class. My weekend wasn't relaxing at all. Lacey. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends and I drove to the campsite on Saturday. First, we put up the tent. 
Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. On Sunday, we went fishing. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Jonathan. I went to a rock concert with some friends. I had an awful time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the band at all. Then, on our way home, the car broke down. My parents came and got us. I finally got home at six in the morning. I'm so tired. Okay. Do you have any question about vocabulary? <clears throat> no. Tall a story. Tall a story. So what paragraph is it? Karen, Pete, Lacey, or Jonathan paragraph? Pete, dishes. Okay, in which paragraph is that word? Alguna palabra nueva? Tall. Dishes. Uh, Felipe dice cuál? Dishes. Paragraph pit. ¿En cuál párrafo? En el de pit. 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 I, I did the dishes. Ah, the dishes son los trastes. Los trastes. I oh, did the dishes es yo la ve. Bueno, de, diríamos wash the dishes, pero también se puede decir did the dishes, que en español para nosotros no tiene sentido porque es como decir hacer los platos, <risa> pero se refiere al hecho de lavarlos. Do es the como, dishes es en presente. Do laundry. Do laundry, do the dishes. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other question? Teacher, el, el pasado de have. Yo digo que lo pronuncian como ad y hay veces had. que had. Had. Es, solo, es had. 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 Porque he oído pronunciaciones quizás por la fluidez y yo digo que como que ad y se me hace. Had. Had. Sí, por la rapidez quizás. Ah, bueno. Mm -hmm. Another question about words, new words? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's listen one more time and then we're going to try to answer the questions. Page 97, exercise 12, reading. Did you have a good weekend? Karen. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Mariella's wedding. She got married in her parents' garden. She wore a fantastic dress. Her parents served a nice meal after the ceremony. I'm really happy for her. And her new husband is really nice. Pete. I didn't go outside all weekend. I had so much work to do. On Saturday, I studied all day. On Sunday, I did the dishes, cleaned my apartment, and did laundry. Sunday night, I watched a DVD for my history class. My weekend wasn't relaxing at all. Lacey. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends and I drove to the campsite on Saturday. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. On Sunday, we went fishing. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Jonathan. I went to a rock concert with some friends. I had an awful time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the band at all. Then, on our way home, the car broke down. My parents came and got us. I finally got home at six in the morning. I'm so tired. Okay, now let's see if you can answer these questions. Read the chat room post we already did twice. Remember, 
it's um, Karen, Faith, Lacey, and Jonathan. Let's see. Read the chat room, and then we have to correct the sentences. It says, after the wedding, everyone went out to eat. Pete studied all day on Sunday. He watched TV Sunday night. Lacey went camping for the third time. Lacey liked camping at all. Jonathan went to a rock concert with his parents. And it took three hours to get home after the concert. Tienen que corregir las oraciones. Por ejemplo, aquí dice Karen got married. Pero según lo que leímos, Karen's best friend got married. La mejor amiga de Karen, mm -hmm. no Karen. Okay? Mm -hmm. Hagan por lo menos de las que se recuerden. Finished? Only the ones that you remember.
-hmm. Like this. Done? Finished? No, yeah? Finished? Mm, I finished. No? Finish. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Same thing. Yes. Um, uh, we're going to check the answers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, okay, so number one, we said that. Karen's best friend got <clears throat> married, right? Number two, it says after the wedding, everyone went out to eat. What is the correct information? Yes. And two, and two, after the wedding, everyone went out eat. No, no, for yeah. Uh, her parents. Uh, served a nice meal. Yes, the Mariela's parents served a meal. Very good. That's the answer. Number three, Pete studied all day on Sunday. No, no. On Sunday, I did dishes, cleaned my apartment, and did laundry. Do you have the same answer, Felipe? No, I remember. No. Brian? No. Let's see. Number three. Pit study all day on Saturday. No Sunday. Saturday. No Sunday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Saturday. Number four, he watched TV Sunday night. Mm, no. He no, watched watch DVD. DVD. DVD for my study class. Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent. He watched a DVD for his history class Sunday night. Number five, it says Lacey went camping for the third time. No, no, for the first time. Let's see. Yes, for the first time. For the first time. Uh, number six, Lacey liked camping a lot. No. They didn't no. like. Didn't like. Didn't really like camping. Excellent. Number seven, Jonathan went to a rock concert with his parents. <laughs> no, friends. No. Some friends. Uh-huh, with some friends, not with the parent. 
And number eight, it took three hours to get home after the concert. Yes, yes, yes. It's true? Three hours, three hours. To drive there, drive to drive. To drive. Uh-huh, oh. to drive there. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, for today's topic, uh, we're going to, the, well, we have been uh, studying simple paths with regular and irregular words, but there is another part of a simple paths that we are going to study today, and that is the simple paths of B. Remember, I told you in the last class that the verb B, it, in past, of the verb be is was and were. This is crazy. Okay, and remember the past of the verb be, el pasado del verbo to be, dijimos que significa el verbo to be? Cero estar. Cero estar. Cero estar. Entonces, en pasado, bueno, fui, estuve, fue, estuvo. En presente son tres formas, am, um, is, are. En pasado son nada más dos, was y were. Were. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo? ¿Cuándo vamos a usar was? Cuando nos refiramos I, he, she, it. Uh -huh. I was, he was, she was, it was. Right? With all those topics, we use was. Now, when do we use where? You, we, they, were. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, if I want to say, uh, si yo quisiera decir en inglés, mi abuelo fue una buena persona. My grandparents. Uh -huh. My grandfather, wash, wash. my I grandfather was a good person. Uh -huh. My grandfather was a good person. Um, ahora, si es plural, my grandparents. Oh. Where, porque ya es en plural, ¿verdad? Ya estoy diciendo mis abuelos. My grandparents were good people. Are good people. Okay. My grandparents were good people. Okay. Uh, como decir, yo estuve, yo estuve. En la universidad cuando tenía 23. I was I college. Was. I was. At college. College es universidad, no es colegio. I was at college. College. When, when, when I was 23. Uh -huh. I was at college when I was 23. 23 or Anteriormente habíamos estado conjugando otros verbos, ¿verdad? Decíamos, I, I work, yo trabajé ayer. I worked yesterday. Esto habíamos estado haciendo. Para decir esto en negativo, ¿cómo lo haríamos? I didn't work. Ajá, I didn't work. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. I didn't work. Y ya no conjugamos el verbo porque tengo el auxiliar. Ok. Esto no sucede con was y con were. Ahí sí nos vamos a tener que olvidar de esto. Si yo quiero decir yo estuve en el trabajo. Yo estuve en el trabajo ayer. I was at work. Yesterday. Pero si quiero hacerlo en negativo y decir yo no estuve en el trabajo ayer. I was, 
I was not or I wasn't at work yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, con este no usamos didn't, sino que solo le agregamos el not. But después de was or were. I was not at work yesterday. Okay. So, son como decir que son dos cosas diferentes. Cuando usamos was and were, nos tenemos que olvidar del did. Okay. Y del did. Um, so, esto es lo que viene acá. Uh -huh. So, negative form. Was not or wasn't. I wasn't. He wasn't. She wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. Uh, you weren't. We weren't. And they weren't. Okay. We're not. That's for negative statement. Now for questions, we, um, para preguntas, primero vamos a poner was o were dependiendo del sujeto. Was I, was he, was she, was it. Um, when the plural person, were you, were we, were they. Eso es eh, para hacer preguntas, yes, no question. Por ejemplo, si yo le quiero preguntar a, a Froilan, Froilan, ¿estuvo usted en el trabajo ayer? Entonces yo le tengo que decir, were you? ¿Estuviste tú? Were you at work yesterday? No, I wasn't. Or yes, I was. Yes, I was. Ok, yes, I was. So, vamos a contestar con was o con were, no con did, con el mismo was o were. Yes, I was, no, I wasn't. And, uh, okay, now let's try to complete the sentences using was or were. Solo escriban uno y la respuesta, dos y respuesta, tres, respuesta, was or were. For example, number one, I... Was. Okay, was. I was in Australia last spring. I'll give you some time. Okay, let's see. Number two, Freuland, can you read number two with the other? I was in Australia last spring. And number two? We were at the school last Saturday. Good, Karen, number three. Ina was at home yesterday. At home yesterday. Okay, number four, Felipe? It was sad. Okay, good. It was sad. Uh, continue, Carla. Sarah and Jennifer were very friends. Yes, because it's plural. Correct. Jaime, number six. Number six. You were, you were very busy on Saturday. Okay, you were very busy. On Thursday. Okay. Good, good job. Uh, number seven, it is? 
they were in front of the supermarket. Excellent. They were in front of a supermarket. Uh, number eight, Victor. I was in the museum. Okay, excellent. Liliana, number nine. She was in South Africa last month. Excellent. And number 10, Danny. Anita and Luke were late for school. Excellent. Very good job. Now, uh, let's see. Was aware, wasn't aware. And in this case, we're going to decide if we complete it in affirmative or negative. Seven. Mm -hmm. For example, in number one, uh, well, it says I in Canberra last spring and this year I in Rome. I was in Canberra last spring and this year I wasn't in Rome. Okay, I was in Canberra last spring and this year I was in Rome. Number two, what do you think? We were we were we weren't we were at school last Saturday and Sunday we were at school last Saturday and this Sunday we weren't were were at home. Okay. Uh number three, let's say it says Tina at home yesterday, she at work. Um, Tina wash at home yesterday. She washing that. Uh huh. Tina was at home yesterday. She wasn't, she wasn't at work. Number four. You were very busy. 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 Weren't you busy today? 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 Uh huh. You can say you were very busy on Friday. Were you, were you busy today? today? Weren't you busy today? Or it can be you weren't very busy on Friday. Were you busy today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. um, what do you think in the next one, number five? Jessica and Kimberly were, weren't late, late for school yesterday. In fact, they were always late. Okay, that's a possibility. Number six. Were students in 99? No, we. Well, we were. We were. We were. Weren't. We weren't. Uh huh. Weren't. Teachers. Teachers. Okay, number seven. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. Or he was in a hurry. A lot of traffic. Dice porque mucho tráfico. Oh, hurry. There are lots of traffic. Hurry. Hurry, que es hurry? De prisa, de prisa. Okay. 
Okay, he wasn't in a hurry because there weren't a lot of traffic or he was in a hurry. Él iba de prisa porque había mucho tráfico. He was. That's a possibility. He was in a hurry because there was a lot of traffic. There was a lot of traffic. And number eight, last night you like angry because your well. girlfriend at home. You were angry. Last night you were angry. Because your girlfriend wasn't at home. Wasn't. Yes, last night you were angry because your girlfriend wasn't at home. Weren't. En la siete era there was. Había. En la siete. En la siete, él, él estaba, él estaba de, de prisa, él estaba apurado. Ajá, él estaba apurado porque había mucho tráfico. Ahí en las dos era was. No, en las dos era was. Ajá. He was in a hurry because there was a lot of traffic. En las dos es was. Mm -hmm. Here we have more exercises. Luego tenemos más ejercicios de esto, pero estos los pueden hacer mañana en casa. Yo les mando la presentación <laughs> para que lo hagan en el cuaderno con, um, con tiempo. <laughs> okay. And there is another exercise. Este es un poco más fácil. Mm -hmm. Okay, about the uses of was and where. Let's see, it says British homes. Okay, it's a bit of history. Okay, in this case, we're going to use was or were. In some cases, si dice not, es porque va a ser negativo. In the first paragraph, it says the Celts were, los Celtas. Were, uh -huh, because it's plural in England, from 700 before Christ, the typical Celtic house. Y dice, not the house. Wasn't. Wasn't, ajá. Porque estoy hablando de la casa típica. Una, the typical Celtic house wasn't big. It small and round. It was small and round. Without, without any window. Okay, the Roman houses. Where in the Roman houses were in were in like second houses. Aha, uh -huh. very good, Freyland. The Roman houses weren't like Celtic houses. Next, Jaime. Celtic houses were yeah. very simple. But Excellent. House. Celtic houses were very simple. Continue, Hyman. But Roman houses were very beautiful. Yes. The floor of the Roman was often a mosaic. Aha, uh -huh. the floor of a Roman house was often a mosaic. Good. Viking houses, Carla. Viking houses were long, blue, 
Buildings. Buildings, excellent. Buildings. buildings. Animals and people were together in the same building. So the house wa was wasn't very clean. Excellent. So in this same building. Same okay. building. Good. Felipe, Henry, continue here. Henry. Henry eight. Eight. Henry eight was in during Tudor period. Period in in and ground. Tudor homes were often black and white. Okay, excellent. Let's see, Carla, can you continue here? Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria was queen du during the Victorian period. Victoria ha Victorian houses were very attractive in the window of them colorful, but the houses were very close together. Excellent. There you go. Now let's complete this paragraph. Uh, for example, in number one, it says how your last school trip. ¿Qué falta en el uno? Was or were? Was. Ajá, was. Porque estamos preguntando por el viaje y es una cosa. Entonces, was. How was your last school trip? Ahora hay una pregunta. It interesting or surprising? ¿Qué falta en el dos? Was it interesting? Ajá. Was it interesting or surprising? Write to us and tell us about it. Ok, así como hicimos el 1 y el 2, vamos a completar el 3. Vamos a ir leyendo aquí y solo van a escribir en el cuaderno el número 3 y la respuesta, was or were.
Finished? Yes. Yes. So what is the answer in number three? Can you read the complete sentence with the answer, Roylan? Last school trip was to Windsor Castle. Excellent. Who wants to continue? Felipe? Windsor Castle is one of the Queen's home, but she only stayed there at weekends. We were there on a Monday. Okay, excellent. We were there on a Monday. Uh, who wants to continue, Carla? Mm -hmm. So the queen here. The, the Buckingham Palace. The okay, aquí estábamos. Felipe nos dijo we were they on Monday. So the queen and her so family. Where, Number there. five, weren't, uh-huh, weren't, weren't there. Uh, continue, Jaime. Number six. They. They were. They. Um, they were spoken to the queen from London. They were. They were at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's home in London. Okay, good. Uh, continue, Conan. There were many beautiful chairs and carpets in Windsor Castle with my favorite, favorite, favorite? favorite thing. Um, favorite thing. Um, Wash Queen Mary's Dollar's House. Okay, yes, that's the answer. Good job. And uh, number nine, continue. It is. It it was a kiss for the people of Inglaterra to the Queen May, the wife of George V. Fifth. 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 In yes. the in the 19, in the 19, uh, 20s. 20, most doll house are toy for children, but Queen Mary, sigo. <laughs> but Queen Mary, uh-huh. But Queen Mary, where? Uh-uh. Was. 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 Was mm. a child at the Ok, como hablamos de la Queen Mary, es ella, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. was, was Ajá, an... pero ahí tenemos un pero, but. Ok, aquí was dice, an... most doll houses are toys for children, but Queen Mary wasn't was a an... child at that time. Ajá, son regalos para niños, pero la... <coughs> Reina Mary no era una niña en ese tiempo. <laughs> she was she was wow. an wow. adult. Adult. Uh -huh. oh. She was an adult. Uh, let's continue, Danny. Danny, okay. The doll's house and the Eden. Items. Items in it was miniature copies mm. of the doll's house and the items. And the items were. Where? Where? Copies. Miniature copies. Sorry, teacher. Oh, okay. 
Es que dice la casa de muñecas y las cosas dentro de ella. The doll's yeah. house and the items in it. Were. 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 were, were miniature. Copies. Miniature. Copies. Miniature copies. Plural. Of Windsor. Of Windsor uh. Castle. And the real things in it. Furniture, curtains, lamps, bottles of wine, and even toilet paper. The miniatures were amazing. Were, were amazing. amazing. I guess those houses aren't only for children. Okay. <laughs> well, that's it. Um, that's it. That's the exercise I have prepared for you today. I'm going to send you this. Also, también les voy a mandar eso, les voy a mandar la presentación y les voy a mandar este ejercicio para que lo tengan por ahí. Y si lo quieren transcribir en el cuaderno con todo y respuesta, ahí practican writing. De todos modos, tenemos chancecito. ¿Sí? Do you have any question? No questions? No questions. No, no. Ok, hicieron un muy buen trabajo con el uso de was and were. Vamos a seguirlo practicando. Eso es pasado con was y were, pasado del verbo to be. Mañana vamos a seguir practicando eso. Espero que ejerciten y que vayan al día con la plataforma. Y si ya la terminaron y imprimieron el sentido, no importa, sigamos en clase. <laughs> ok, so I hope you have a great night. Enjoy. Rest, sleep well, and stay home. Be safe. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you for clicking and for joining today's session, guys. That's it for today, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, tomorrow teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye bye.